There's several different ways you could build a FAQ page in ASP. I decided that I would like to try to use the ASPX navbar and I quickly found out that you can't bind it directly to an Access or SQL data source by dropping it on the page and using the uh, data source ID and data source properties. By design, the ASPX navbar support, supports binding only to hierarchical data sources such as XML data source or a sitemap data source. I did a little research and found out that there's a, a really easy way to do that in your code behind. Build a little uh, FAQ page like this, or similar to this anyway. In our uh, project, we've got one access database. It's only got one table in it. And we've got two ping files to replace the standard collapse and expand buttons in the ASPX navbar to make it look a little better on the page. And then we've got our project files itself to build the FAQ page. In the HTML section of the page, basically all we got is a nav bar that we've dropped in here, and you can see that it's not bound in the code here to a data source. And we've set up a, a CSS class for a group header and for the item style, and replaced the standard uh, graphic buttons for collapse and expand. And then we defined a couple of CSS rules up here to show what the question and answers uh, field should look like displayed on the page. And then in the code behind, we're just loading a, on on page load. We're going to run a load fact routine to load our to load our database into the nav bar. First thing we're doing is defining our SQL string to pull the data out of the database. And then we're dimensioning a couple of text fields and one, one integer for a counter. Our connect string is defined in the, in the web config file. Our data directory, of course, is our application data directory. And this, this portion here is actually in the web config file. And then this connection string loads it out of the web config file. And then you just have to change this to whatever database that you're connecting to. Then we're dimensioning our select statement. And then we're dimensioning our reader. And then we're reading our reader. And as long as we have uh, data out there in the table, as long as we have records, we're going to loop through all the records in, the, in that table that matches our search string, and we're going to fill the nav bar. So we're, we're first we're checking to make sure that the question field is not null. If it is null, then it's going to assign nothing. And if the question is not nothing, then we're going to take that reader item and put it in a question field. And then we're doing the same for the answer. And then we're going to add the question to the to the nav bar groups, which would be like a header. And then we're we're going to add the answer into the nav bar groups item by the counter. And then we're going to update the counter. And basically, that's it. That that builds this question and answer page. If you would like to download this code to actually have the code to play with or look at or whatever. You can go directly to eagleware.net, and over here you got R and D tab for research and development. Click on the nav bar and the fact page, and you have a link here that you can download that code directly to your computer. Well, I hope this helps somebody out, or maybe it explains a few things to them. I know I learn a lot by watching, looking at somebody else's code. So that's it for this video and have a good day.